whole new collection of products at a fantastic saving and it's all beautifully packaged all together and sent to your door. So obviously this month is the March craft box and that is our Easter fun craft box. So spring and Easter is obviously just around the corner and that's what this box is kind of all about. So I'll run through all the products in the box, I'll show you them up close and then um, I'll jump into a make and show you some of the products in action. So just like every other box, um, you will get your craft box in one of these gorgeous illustrated cardboard boxes. I'll just pop that down. So these are the boxes that they come in. So it says Sizzix on the front and it's got all these gorgeous illustrations on as well. And then you open it up and you've got the mint inside and that is all the lovely illustrations here. Um, again, I always say it's really nice to obviously keep your products in, but if you are maybe gifting some, some crafting bits to someone as well, these are great to keep and then you can put a load of things in there as well and gift them. So these boxes are really handy. So inside you get a little thank you postcard and um, there might be a little discount sometimes on the back of those so keep an eye out for your little postcard and then the main dies in this collection or in this box are obviously easter themed so i'm going to show you those dies first so there are three different dies so you've got the decorative eggs die so this is a, obviously a thinlets die you get three different dies in there and you can mix and match these decorative stencil bits over the top of the actual egg shape so these are really good obviously for um having like a big bold image on the front of your card or whatever it is but they also work hand in hand with another product in the box which is the egg shaker domes egg or balloon shaker domes so they can be that way or that way as a balloon but obviously they work perfectly with this um and you can create a really nice shaker card and there's also obviously sequins and beads in the box to help you out to make that shaker card and i'll show you those in a second but that's the first die that works with those shaker domes then you've got some more sort of spring cutesy ones so this one is hello spring so as you can see you get some really gorgeous different dies on there so you get the little bunny the birdhouse the watering can you get a lovely sentiment and loads of different florals and foliage that could be used all year round as well so that one's really really cute and you get 16 dies in that set and then you get another cute little easter one this is easter icons um and this one you get um another little bunny you get a chick some eggs a balloon and another sentiment on there as well really lovely um really compact but you pretty much have everything you want and um, they're really really look nicely designed so this one is obviously easter icons and you get 13 dies in there i will mention this one is designed by lisa jones um the hello spring is by olivia rose and the decorative eggs is by Jennifer Ogborn, so three of our amazing designers at Sizzix, and you may recognise those names from other designs as well. So those are the three dies, and obviously I've shown you those shaker domes already. To go in those shaker domes, we've got two different types of sequins and beads. So we've got the primrose coloured beads and the um sort of mint julep or agave coloured sequins so these you might get sort of a different set depending on your box but they will be the same kind of color um they might just be a heart or a circle or whatever that is so you get two of those and you also get five sheets of our adhesive sheet so these are really really handy and i'm going to show you how useful they are particularly for some of those really intricate parts of the dies or for popping the different elements on top of those eggs these are really really good to have in your collection and then we've got the card stock okay so you get five sheets of plain white card stock obviously super handy to have um 
for making cards or anything like that. And then you also get the pattern paper. So you get 10 sheets of the pattern paper. And I'm gonna open this actually. So these will be random colours, but they will work with the other cardstock colours in the set. And they are double sided. So you get to use them on both sides and you get an array of patterns so I believe there's eight different patterns and the colours will obviously match with that cardstock so you get 10 of those so really really lovely to have those in the box because these are brand new for chapter one as well and then you also get 10 sheets of our regular cardstock again I'm going to open this up So you may be familiar with this cardstock, particularly if you've had one of these boxes before. So we will do 10 colours um, and we handpick the colours and work them with the dies and the theme of the box. So I'll just, I'll fan these out actually. Oh, I didn't think this through. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so you get 10 sheets and... I think this is all of them that I've got here. So we've got Ballet Slipper, Cherry Blossom, Primrose, Mango Tango, Lemoncello, Mermaid Kiss, Arctic Sky, Lush Leaves, Green Tea and Cobblestone. So those are all of those lovely colours that you get. And like I said, your pattern paper will match those colours as well. Okay. So that is everything in the box. So 10 sheets of regular cardstock, 10 sheets of patterned, five sheets of white, those three dies, the five sheets of adhesive sheet, the shaker domes, and the two sequins and beads. So you get loads in that box. Um, I think it's a really, really lovely one and perfect for spring and Easter makes that we're all gonna be hopefully doing um, coming up to that period of the year okay so i'm gonna showcase you a couple of makes and then how to fully make a card from start to finish showcasing those other shaker domes i'm just going to bring the camera down slightly and we'll get started so just bear with me while i bring the camera down and so you can see a little bit better um a better view sorry of what i'm actually gonna do okay and bring that right down I've also switched on my light, which I forgot to, so now you can see a little bit better, better as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a shaker card using those lovely egg shaker domes. The first thing you're going to want to do is take a piece of pattern paper. I've got some of the pink toned pattern paper, but you could use whatever colour you wanted. And obviously this is the normal A4 size along here and then I've just cut it down to about 15 centimetres along here and then I folded the card in half. So this is going to be my card base and that's what I'm going to use the pattern paper for. Um, just to add a little bit more interest on the back, okay. And then I've pre-cut a piece of the white cardstock just slightly smaller than the patterned paper so I can have a little border of the pattern paper around the edge of the white okay um i'm not going to stick that down yet because we're going to add some things onto the front but it's just ever so slightly smaller than your card base okay and then we can start to obviously put our decoration on this piece of white i am going to use the decorative eggs die set as my main part for this card because i want to showcase those shaker domes so i'm going to open it up And I think I did say in the intro, you get three different dies. So you get your main egg die and then you get two different patterns. So I've already done one of these. So I'm gonna do this one, I think. And I've got my 
cardstock colours cut out. So I want my background piece to be from the ballet slipper card and then my top piece is from the primrose card and what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to pop some of the Sizzix adhesive sheet on the back of both sheets of card. So I've already done that to the ballet slipper colour and I'm also going to do it to this one here. So all you need to do is cut it down to the size of your piece of cardstock and you peel off this top layer. And just pop it on the back of your card, okay? So then we can bring in the machine. Whichever machine you guys want to use, I'm using the fold away today, but whichever one, I'm gonna pop those on there and put those between my plates. I'm just gonna run that first more intricate pattern back and fall through my machine a couple more times than the other one, just because it is a bit more intricate and I have got those two layers. It should cut out fine so we've got our egg and then the other one here so you can take your die pick or something like that I'm gonna grab mine I think just to poke these bits out Sometimes they will come out if you just pop your hand on them. And you will find that when you take the adhesive off the back, everything will come off. Okay. Sorry guys, this is a little bit boring just to poke these bits out, but <laughs> I don't want to miss any bits. It can be quite therapeutic if you just take your time. You could also use one of our dye brushes um, as an option to get all these little bits out. So there are different ways of doing it. I'm actually going to peel the backing off of this. And sometimes you'll find that the little bits all sort of go with the backing as you pull it off because the top layer is definitely cut but the the backing might not be oh. yep and just make sure you've got all those little bits out A couple more. There we go. Okay. And then, even though these are all stuck to my fingers, <laughs> um, you want to pop it on to your egg base. You can kind of move it around a little bit with these adhesive sheets before you're fully happy with where you want to put it. But just give it a firm press once you're happy with that. I'm just going to get rid of this excess that I've got here. There we go. Okay, so you've got your layered egg. Now I have done the other one here, exactly the same colours and exactly the same method, and they've both got adhesive sheet on the back okay so I'm going to bring back in that white piece of card and what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off these backing bits and I'm going to stick these because I'm going to use three eggs so my center one is going to be a shake dome and these two are going to go either side so I'm going to position them roughly where I want them 
and I am going to have a sentiment at the top so I'm making sure I've got a little bit of space up top as well there we go and they're slightly angled outwards okay and then we're going to bring back that center bit and we're going to pop that there and we're going to run that through the machine and we're going to cut out that middle section okay so bringing back my machine I'm going to pop my piece of card there and then place the center egg in between those other two and try and make it as symmetrical as you can but don't worry too much um, you can also secure that in place with some of our makers tape that would be a really good idea if you're cautious about the die moving but I'm gonna just pop it down and pop it through my machine and I am gonna run this through a few times just because it's going through several layers of card which normally it doesn't these machines don't really do but I just want that general outline and then if it's not fully cut out because on some of these thicker parts I can go in and cut those out but I've gone over those a couple of times and it's cut out perfectly okay so there we go so I just ran it through the machine about three times but if you find that on these parts it's not fully cut out if you just take a craft knife and just cut around along those parts because you'll have the indent of where the cut should be um so don't worry too much if it hasn't fully cut out but that's what we're aiming for okay so we've got our hole in the center but don't worry i am going to fill it <laughs> so i've got a piece of ballet slipper cardstock that i've cut just bigger than the egg shape and then i can bring in my shaker dooms so i'm going to take one of these out i think you do get you get six domes in the pack so you'll have plenty of um domes to make up several different makes and then i'm going to pop some of the sequins and beads in the center so some of the the pink beads and then i want some of the mint sequins and then I might put in just a little bit more of these beads. Okay. All right. And then you want to peel off this outside layer. So that's what this little white bit is. It's a adhesive underneath. So if you just peel that away and then place your card over the top and firmly press down on all of the edges. So I'm just going to turn that over. And firmly press on all of those edges, okay? And then you've got your start of a shaker card. Now, all I want to do is just trim a little bit off the bottom because I don't want to see that when I pop that underneath. And I want to stick this in place. So I'm going to use one of our adhesive rollers. And I'm just going to pop some of this around the edge of the dome. And onto the card that it's on. Like so. And then pop this on top. sure it's nice and secure okay we're almost finished we just need a sentiment to finish it off now I'm going to use the Easter icons die set and I want to use that lovely happy Easter sentiment at the top so I'm going to take that and I've got some of the green tea card stock cut to size and I've got some of the adhesive sheet again and I'm going to stick that to the back of the card. You may have noticed that I've not used glue once during this entire make and 
I love that because I feel like I always end up getting glue onto my card somehow and it's going to mess it up. So this is really nice that all I've used is adhesive sheets and the adhesive roller. So I'm loving the fact that this make requires no glue. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that there. And pop that through my machine. take that out you can peel that off of the backing it should come off pretty easy I don't think I took a part of it all the way through in the machine that was my fault Hang on. just we've got our sentiment I've accidentally ripped the E a little bit but if you're just <laughs> a little bit more careful and take your time and then because I've already peeled off that back layer I can just pop it in place okay and then last but not least I just want to bring in my pattern paper background and adhere this to the front so I'm just going to take my adhesive roller again Some of this down and place this on the front. Like so. And there you have it guys, a finished Easter card. So this was the one that I did earlier. They're pretty much identical. <laughs> um but you can just see how easy that was to make. It was so, so simple. Um, like I said, required no glue, anything like that, and used so many of the products in that box. And I still had plenty to spare. So there we go. I'm gonna pop the camera up. I'm gonna show you some last little examples to get you excited for this box and then say my goodbyes, okay? Okay guys, so that's everything that I have to show you today. Um, obviously, I want you to head on over to the Sizzix website and check out that craft box. It's the Easter Fun craft box. Um, we put these together each month perfectly for you guys to have everything delivered to your door that you can get making straight away. And I hope you've been inspired by my mate today, but there'll also be loads of other videos coming over the next few weeks from all the other designers and they'll be sharing their inspiration with you as well. So obviously I made this lovely shaker card today with the um, shaker domes, but I, um, I just wanna show you a couple of other designs that might spark a few ideas in you if you're thinking of getting your hands on one of these boxes. This is another, go another gorgeous card using the Hello Spring set. Um, and obviously I've got the pattern paper in the background, but then these lovely flowers that I've done as like a cascading um, water effect from the watering can. And then I've used those primrose beads in the center of the flowers. And I really, really love that one. I think that one's so, so pretty. So that's another idea that you might have. Um, here I've got a little gift tag for if you're gifting any presents or chocolates or anything this Easter. Um, it's a really, really cute, um, little egg gift tag that I've used the decorative egg base for and then some of the other bits from the Easter icon set. I've got the pattern paper on the background and some primrose beads down the bottom here and then I just popped a hole in it and popped some ribbon on so I can tie that onto a gift. So that one's really really cute. And then last but not least another adorable card. Um, this one's really mini but really ad adorable. So you've got again the pattern paper has a little border and then I just created some grass using just some of the green tea cardstock and then use some of the flower elements from the Hello Spring set and then this lovely little chick from the Easter Icon set. So some really, really lovely 
card inspiration for you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video today and I have inspired you to start crafting for Easter. It's a really, really nice time of year. Obviously flowers are blooming. Fingers crossed we can all start to see each other face to face again. And we're all celebrating and eating chocolate <laughs> this Easter. So I think that's everything I have for you today, guys. Um, make sure to stay safe, keep crafting, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.